Bro, cause bro, he got he put you up on game when it comes to kicks. What else? Um, he let you know where to go. That's what's up, oh, yeah. Shit. Why not watch the man? <laughs> I appreciate it, That's man. It, man. Yo, I pull up to the gas station, man. Homie, like, yo, I watch your channel, man. So, super, man, I appreciate you. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, guys, we're now leaving Legends. Now you gotta head downtown to the Trophy Room, man. My slide's around 3.15. It's gonna be a minute before I get in the building, but I know there's a Puerto Rican Day Parade, so it might be a while before I find parking, man. But anyways, salute the legends. Thanks for having me. It was an awesome day, y'all. What's good, y'all? How y'all doing today? Today is Saturday. Today is Trophy Room Grand Opening, and we all got time slots. At least, if you're a Florida resident and you wanna be in the building, you gotta have a time slot. Mine's is 3.15, and currently is 2.30. So I'm heading to the trophy room. I just left uh, Legends Boutique. They had a kid came through today, which was dope, from the Make It Wish Foundation. Um, that video should be up shortly as well, man. But anyways, man, let's get downtown. I heard it's a Puerto Rican Day Parade, so we gotta find some parking in a reasonable time so we can get in the building and um, cop something. All right, so I'll see y'all downtown. Peace. So I'm now walking to the trophy room, parked in Publix. That was a little cheat code somebody told me about. And while I was down there, like, cause in the basement, I ran to one of the homies and he said it was really not much going on. He described what happened to him. So I'm like, man, that sucks for you, bro. So I hope I don't get the same experience, man. But anyways, um, got like 15 minutes to get in the building. Well, my time slides at 3.15. It's a little bit over two. I'm walking, so I'm just gonna walk straight to the line, front of the line rather than see what happens, yo. So I see y'all inside, unless there's something to talk about outside the line. Speaking of something to talk about, a lot of people got tickets, bro. <laughs> a lot of people got tickets. Just pulled up. Okay. I see mine with her. Puerto Rican Day outfit. So I'm out here, man. That hurt ain't much, yo. People conjugating outside. I don't know why, because they clearly stated ain't much going on. Homie got a bag. He got a big behind bag, too, bro. I'll show y'all what's in the contents later. He got the sixes on. He got the metallic reds. Oh, wait, okay. Guys, I got extremely lucky, man. As soon as I pulled up, they had the Georgetown behind the counters, yo. Right now, this is all they have, but I saw y'all when I, when I pay out. Also, they got the trophy room tees. I'm getting two of these. Uh, they're kind of hefty, 50 beans. I latched me. Joe, so talk to me. How was it? Nah, what's up? Uh, yes, what's up? Okay, what's up, what's up? Guys, it's a wrap, yo. Yo, blessings, man. You won't believe what happened, bro. I gotta tell you that story, man. But we'll wrap it up when we get to the crib. I gotta cross the street before I get hit. Oh, shit, it's about to turn red. And it's about to drizzle. Let me run across the street, see? They're running. <laughs> blessings on blessings on blessings. All right, y'all, we down four. I got the Brooklyn Nets game versus Boston on TV right now. And Jalen Brown just hit a damn layup. But anyways, guys, down six. Anyways, third quarter. Gotta get this video up and popping for you guys because I promise y'all, I told y'all this video is gonna be up today. The day of the Trophy Room Grand opening downtown. I'm keeping my word. You guys watching, you know I did. All right, that's it. You guys wanna know, Frank, what they had? What was your experience? What was it like being in the building for the grand opening? Was it something crazy? Did something crazy happen? Was your experience crazy? I would say it was none of the above. It was okay in the sense that there was mixed emotions. Mixed emotions from a lot of people, at least for me, it wasn't. I'm ecstatic of what happened to me, but a lot of people frown on what happened to them. And what that means is a lot of people's like, yo, there's a whole bunch of GRs, they really didn't get anything. And he's like, yo, Frank, so why are you happy? Because I did get something. You guys saw a little glimpse of what's in my bag. But before I say that, there's a story behind that. So when I pulled up, I ran to somebody in the garage. He was like, yo, turn around, there ain't nothing there. I'm like, all right, I gotta go. I gotta bring you guys the actions. I gotta show you guys what the grand opening look like. So I'm not just doing it for me, man. I'm doing it for y'all. Y'all living vicariously through me. So I had to pull up, got in line, checked in, whatever, whatever. 
my slot was 315. Talked to people outside the line who was telling me what they cop. The homie cop some Air Jordan 12 playoffs. He said he caught some Marina Blue once. He got some tees. I bet. Somebody came out empty handy. said, yo, there was nothing in there. It was a waste of his time. I'm like, I bet. So, you know, somebody cop something. Someone didn't cop something. Someone told me they don't, they didn't get anything and they're already long gone. And I'm waiting in line like, I don't know what to expect. Then I heard somebody in the line like, oh, this group out of guess, you know, I get the business. They got something special for y'all. So I got in the building, man. The first person that was in front of me, uh, him and his girl, they stopped at the register. Yo, let me get that. It was the Air Jordan 1 High 85 Georgetown. I'm like, bet, let me get the one below that, which is a, they had the shoes, size 11 was the first he asked for. Size 12 was the second one I asked for it, allegedly. And here's why. Apparently, there was a guy who just literally like teleported right in front of me. So when I asked for 12, a size 12, apparently the girl gave it to him and not me. Now I could be mistaken. Maybe if Marcus find the footage to see who was first, maybe it would show that he was before me. But you know, when you're tunnel visual about what you want to do and what you want to get, you don't see nothing else. But we didn't argue. It was like, yo, he was here, he was here. Let me get the next size, which was size 10. I bet. So they put our name on the box, we walked off. Well, not on the box, on the paper, like this is for who and this is for that. All right. I was like trying to bargain with the cat when he was looking at clothing. Like, yo, man, you sure you want that 12? You don't wear a 12. Look at his feet. Yo, take this 10. Nah, man, I need that 12. You know how it is. I don't, but this is your decision. <laughs> so apparently he didn't want to do it. So I asked another homie who was in the building who was helping out with the choke from him. I was like, yo, what's the chance of you having this in the 12? Like, yo, let me go and check, Frank. Came back. He said, yo, I don't got a 12. <laughs> But I got 11 and a half, I take that. So your boy got 11 and a half, man. I'm gonna show you guys what I cop. This is what I cop actually. First and foremost, they had a freeze out t-shirts in black and white. I got a size medium in the black. This joint was hitting for $50. Can't be mad, I bought an ice cream, a Pharrell Williams ice cream shirt for 50 beans the other day. So why not buy one of these for 50, you know what I mean? It is what it is, I'm trying to step up. My clothing game kind of span besides Nike. I do wear a lot of Jordan stuff. That's equivalent, but it got the trophy room um, logo on it. So it's something different, a little tad bit different. Um, oh, and then I cop, la da. Peep the label. These are size 11 and a half. One of my sizes in Air Jordan 1s. The Air Jordan 1 High 85 Georgetowns, man. I want this shoe when it first came out. I tried to get a trophy room raffle. No bueno, did not win. And then I went to a sneaker event. Uh, one of the homies tried to sell it to me for a good price. He's like, yo, I'll hook you up front. I sell it for like 320. What seems to be a good price then, we've been, we've been okay. 320, I mean, compared to what the market was going for, but it wasn't my size. So I politely passed. Even though the shoe went up in value, but it's not my size. But now to have this, this size 11 and a half, and my size for 200 feels even better. Dope shoe. You guys know I love Jordan 1s. I collect every possible Jordan 1 I could possibly get. Matter of fact, for you guys, because I know you guys have been patiently waiting for my Air Jordan 1 collection video, I shot it. I shot it over like two days ago, like by myself. Like, yeah. So, I'm going to post that here shortly, man. So, look forward to that. No cap, I promise you. I know I shot the other one last year, and I was supposed to post, and I still have it. But I shot one by myself because I want to get it up and pop it for you. But anyways, so I got this to add. Maybe I might just go back, double down, and show this as well. But yeah. 200 plus tax, it popped out the last minute. They restocked it in the store, which was a blessing. A blessing in disguise. I forgot to even talk about these um, during my, when I did my trophy room, what to expect. And for those who've been watching my videos and like don't remember, I did a trophy room video and I was like, yo, a lot of people should expect the Air Jordan 1 freeze outs, the Air Jordan 5 trophy rooms. Uh, but neither of those were there in the building. I didn't even mention those, those 85s at all those jordan 1s 85s not at all i didn't expect these and this happened so salute the trophy room for me the experience was good i got something i know that's kind of like uh how do you say it selfish while people are, while others may have suffered from the experience i greatly benefited if that makes sense if that's even the right words i know suffering is kind of harsh but it is what it is man it was a chance you take I didn't know they was gonna re replenish that shoe while I was in the building or right before I walked in. So it was dope. If they replenished that shoe for the people that was before me, they would have had a greater experience. They would have loved it, but they didn't. So they had a bad experience based off of their own experience, right? And anecdotally, that's what their perception was at the moment. Mine was great. So I have to say the trophy room, grand opening, 
for Frank Nitty, for me, Ball on the Budget was a blessing, man. Salute to them. Thank you, guys. Oh, and the line went orderly, bro. You went in there. You asked for what you want. They got it in a timely fashion. I was out the store literally in like eight minutes. I probably had another six or seven minutes to spare in there, but I wasn't thinking. I was excited because I got what I want. They had the Nike Panda Dunk highs, the lows. They had the Air Jordan 11 Cool Grays. They had the Air Jordan 1 Bardos, Air Jordan 1 Brotherhoods. And apparently they had the Marina Blues, but that sold out before um, I got my hands on it because I did acquire for that shoe and there was none in the building. They also had like the Air Jordan 12 playoffs. Um, I'll show you guys some of the stuff behind the counter. They had the trophy room bags. It was behind the counter as well. I'm not sure how much that bag is worth. Somebody comment down below because I did acquire about it to see what the pricing was. I did ask for the freeze out shorts, the freeze out hoodies and all that good stuff. They was gone for, they was gone. It was, it was just gone, man. Giving you guys what I was told or saw in the building, there you go. Now I got one more slot. My wife's gonna pull up. She won't get the experience. So we're gonna go there tomorrow. Her time slot is like one of the last time slots of the day. So we about to see if there's anything new, anything restocked, or anything of that nature. And I'll bring you that footage as well. All right, guys. I think that's it. I talked my behind off. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but hope you guys enjoy it. I promise you guys I was gonna drop this video today, the day of the trophy room grand opening. And I did. And I copped something. I benefited. You guys benefited. You, I'm sure you guys are happy for me, man. Because I'm happy for myself. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.